Hello? Hello? I'm blind, not stupid. The seat's just ahead of you on your right. You can learn a lot from a woman's shoes. Screamers usually wear spiked heels, tight asses pumps. I wonder how combat boots will fit in. Oh, keep it in your pants. I see. Angry, are we? Well, let me set you straight, Sheila. It is Sheila, isn't it? You're here under my care because the county put you here. So for at least the next six months, you can consider yourself one of my subjects. Well, who the hell died made you king? In the land of the blind, even the one-eyed man is king. If you know what's good for you, you'll do things my way. Benny! Take Cinderella here to the ballroom. Come back, that guy is. Why don't you leave me the front door and just let me out of this place, all right? No, ma'am, I, I can't. Mr. Grumwald would, he'd be very upset. This is a problem anyway. His mother didn't take him around for Halloween. No, ma'am. His mother was blind, just like you. Come on, be a sport. Let me go. I'll make it worth your while. No. You don't... You don't understand. You're Grimaud's boy. I, I understand fine. No, you don't understand. You don't understand. If I cross him... He'll send me back. Where? State Hospital. Reedville. It's a mental hospital, isn't it? What they lock you up for? My brother. My brother had me committed. Sorry about that, Chief. You just been shafted. <laughs> everybody, everybody, this is Sheila. Sheila, this is everybody. Now, your bed is just four beds down on the right. It's just the end of the room. There's a blanket and some extra clothes if you want them. Mr. Grunwald, he gets those clothes for free from the country club. This place smells horrible. It grows on you, literally. Well, sorry, pal, I ain't staying. Hey. A window in this place? Somebody answer me! Yeah, we got windows, but they've all been boarded up. Mr. Grunwall thinks blind people don't need no light. Well, I don't understand. I, I thought his mother was blind. She was. And if she hadn't left this place to the state and cut him out of her will, none of us would have, have to have anything to do with that asshole. I can't. No, no, no. Calm down, honey. 
Calm down. No use fighting the choke chain. Look, that might work for some people, but it does nothing for me. You ain't getting out, sugar. Now, now, that's the point. I mean, you might get as far as the front door. Osgood made it there once. Matter of fact, that's Osgood's foot you got in your hand right now. At least what's left of it after Grunewald's dog got hold of it. Oh, God! Oh, God! Here she is, Mr. Grunewald. Benny. Say, ah. Hole in one. Look, you slimy bastard, I am not like the others. I'm not going to lie down while you take advantage of me. Interesting turn of phrase. Render unto Caesar that which is Caesar's, and unto God that which is God's. What? The other day, didn't you offer Benny a little something if he'd let you go? Son of a bitch. Oh, don't blame Benny. It wasn't his fault. I was right behind him. I heard the whole thing. The problem is, you were talking to the wrong person. So if I sleep with you, you'll let me go? Well, it's not quite that easy. I am really not that big on one-night stands. If you want to leave, we'll have to take it one day or night at a time. Up yours. Not really my style. Strip away this thin veneer of sophistication, and underneath, you'll find I'm just an, an upfront kind of guy. Benny! Take the blind bitch away. It's okay. I'll take you back. Thank you, Benny. I'd appreciate that. I really think you should reconsider my offer. I can be very persuasive when I want to be. and none of us deserves to be here. We haven't done a damn thing. We all been through this. We all raged against it. But at the end of the night, here we are. Oh, no, not for long. You know Benny's keychain? He's got a little pocket knife that hangs on it. Yeah, yeah. I borrowed it. Oh. Where's the nearest way out of here? Through Grunewald's office. It's the only way. You sure about this? Yes. to introduce you to Bruno. We'll be handling security here from now on. It's only fair to warn you, he hasn't eaten for two days, and he's particularly fond of fresh meat. Isn't that so, Osgood? 
Hmm. So, if there are no objections, I suggest you all return to your quarters. Oh, oh dear. You can keep that little pig sticker. I don't think Bruno will be particularly concerned. Knife was for you, asshole. <laughs> Where the hell you been, boy? I was beginning to think we weren't gonna get fed at all today. Sorry, everybody. It's one meal a day from now on. Oh. Low life son of a bitch. There you go. I'm sorry, miss. Anyone is lousy food anyway. Can't we at least get some heat in here? Mr. Grunwald says. Grunwald says, uh. Miss? He changed his offer. He's not gonna let you go if you sleep with him. But he said that he'd turn the heat up and bring the rations back to normal. I wish there was something I could do. It's not your fault, Benny. You're a prisoner just like the rest of us. How long could it possibly take? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, girl. We can't let you do that. <laughs> well, it's not like I've got to look at him. <laughs> we ain't that cold nor hungry. Not yet. It's like you said, Samuel. No use fighting a choke, Jane. No. 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 We're not going to let you do it. And that's the end of it. I be a Jane. Osgood? Let the girl go. What the hell? Let's do Gunwald's way for a change. I thought this was how it would turn out. I'm... Only sorry it took so long. Well, what can I say? I'm a slow learner. Why do I find that hard to believe? To blind love. Shall I undress? Why don't you leave that to me? but soft, what light through yonder window breaks. You want to play rough? We can play rough. It's all right, miss. It's me, Benny. My brother's not going to bother you anymore. I'm going to my office. And when I get there... Sit. Good girl. Uh, hello there, Arnie. I... We can't find the food anywhere. Bruno's awfully hungry. Now listen to me, you little piss ant. You haven't got the guts. That 
that's okay, because we do. I'm your own flesh and blood, for God's sake. So was Mama. But you killed her anyway. It was an accident. She tripped on the goddamn marble. <laughs> I may be a little crazy, Arnie, but I'm not stupid. But what are you going to do when they call for Mr. Grunwald, huh? What are you going to do then? Oh, I'm Mr. Grunwald. <laughs> In your eye, shit for brains. Say good night, Grunwald. <laughs>